Hey everybody, it's MSP. I've had a lot of questions about my conveyor belt that I use in the marble cup, so I decided to make a video on it. Let's get into it. So, how it works is I have a Lego motor attached to a Lego battery. So, um, when I turn it on, it will turn on the conveyor belt. The battery is geared up a little bit with some Lego Technic gears because um, the speed of the uh, motor by itself is not fast enough for a high paced race. So I decided to um, gear it up a little bit. The belt itself is um, Lego Caterpillar tracks with pegs in it. There's two types of tracks out there. You don't really want to use the smaller ones. These are a little larger ones smaller ones you can't really even fit these pegs into them and they're too small they're probably like half the width of this so you want to go with these big tracks i bought these tracks on ebay unfortunately the listing that i bought them on does no longer exist so that's too bad so you have to find them somewhere i bought the lego motor and battery on amazon i'll put the links in the description and then I have the support system, which is just made of, you know, Legos. On the bottom here I have some taller Legos to save up on bricks up here. And uh, so let's take apart the whole belt and I'll show you what's on the inside. I have the gears that gear up the motor here, which are connected to this gear here. This gear is what pushes the belt up. So I have three other gears going up the belt that keep the belt from drooping all the way up to the top. So then I have this wall here, which keeps the marbles from falling off. And then near the middle section, it has holes in it so that it can hold these gears in place. So now I'm going to show you some of the adapters I made um, so I can adapt to the Lego from the uh, tracks that I have for the marble cup. So I have two adapters to the conveyor belt. I have the in adapter and then the out adapter, which also doubles as a starting line. So how the in adapter works is it starts off wide here, covered in Lego tiles, which can have the Corsetti marble drum track just rest right on here. And this is how the end of the track works. It goes in here and then they get all filed into this section right here, which has three teeth. What these teeth to do is allow the pegs to go through, but the marbles not fall out. So if I take the belt here and put it right in here like this, the pegs can go through, but the marbles won't fall down. So that's how the marbles will go up the conveyor belt from this piece. So now I have the other end, which is the out end. The same idea here. The pegs here um, can go through these holes and then they can go and start the lap over again. I also have this as a starting line so I have these two pieces here that have holes in them so I can actually rest marbles on the holes. And then I'll take this piece right here and stick it under this. This is actually loose. So when I go like this, all the marbles will fall down and start the race. So this is my tutorial for the conveyor belt. I hope you all enjoyed. Please be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more of my marble racing videos. Until next time, it's been MSP.